Hey, I'm Etty, your wine curator here at Planck Wine Club, and I'm so thrilled to share some really interesting and very unique wines we've selected for you all for your June shipments to start out the summer. So the first one I want to talk about hails from the Languedoc in France. This is an organically grown wine. It's made by a producer called Domaine Duchesne. This is their De Castello Nieluchu. Now, Nieluchu is actually the name of the grape variety here, probably something that you've never seen before. It's a grape variety that is most commonly found in the French island of Corsica, but here it actually comes from the Languedoc. So it comes from a subzone called Seven, uh, spelled with a C, C-E-V-E-N-N-E-S. And what I really love about this wine is that it has this sort of beautiful black fruit, blackberry, black currant, black plum. It's very brooding and also very floral at the same time. Now, what makes this wine sort of extra unique is its variety, of course, it's so unknown. Now, Nieluchu is actually a relative of Sangiovese that you find in Tuscany, in Italy. So it's really cool to sort of compare the examples of Sangiovese that you've had. This one is actually quite different. Instead of being sort of super tannic and structured, this is a juicier expression, a bit more forgiving on the palate. It's just such a cool little wine from the Languedoc. Now moving on to a really awesome rosé that we have found for you all this year. We have a great rosé from the Peloponnese in Greece. It's made by a certified organic producer called Trupis, and this is their Ikato Mosco Filero rosé. Now Mosco Filero is a white grape variety that has pink skins, and what they do with this wine, they macerate the wine on these pink skins for 100 days, which results in the uh, wine turning this brilliant shade of coral, almost like a light red, but it does come from a white grape, so it's this really cool dichotomy. This is the most fragrant, incredibly, like almost intoxicatingly aromatic wine. You'll see lots of rose petal and lychee, beautiful floral aromas, jasmine, it's just super explosive on the nose. And then once you move into the palate, you'll get this great sort of crunchy cranberry fruit, sour cherry, raspberry, a little bit of watermelon. It's just such a fabulous wine. It's one of those rosés that can really pair with literally everything on your table from um, cheeses to seafood to red meats. Now moving on to a great white we have for this month. We have a fabulous wine from the Maule Valley in Chile. This is made by a great natural producer called Jay Bouchon, and this is their Pais Salvaje Blanco. Now, Pais is the mission grape, typically a red variety. Now, this is a white wine, so what happened here is in these vines, there were intermingled berries, red and white, all growing together in the same bushes. Um, these sort of like crazy wild vines that were untrained. What they did is they hand selected the white berries, they separated those and they made a Pais Blanco, which is something that personally I've never even heard of before. This wine is absolutely delicious. It's Asian amphora, it's grown organically, it's dry farmed, it sort of has all the great things you want in a natural wine. Beautiful Granny Smith apple fruit and this great crisp acidity. This is such a cool find from Chile and I'm really excited to share this one with you all for this month. So hopefully you'll enjoy these great finds and we will see you next month.